Hey guys, hold on, let me fix my camera. <laughs> Wait a minute, all right, there we go. Okay, so um, hopefully my last video will be already posted, but in there I do show you, um, it's like a product review, but I do show you just pretty much what I did to get my hair to this point. I went ahead and retwisted everything because um, I did like a half, half the retwist last night. And then I did the other half a little while ago. <laughs> And then now I'm going to attempt this style. I've done it once before. It turned out pretty well. Um, they were not staying together as well as they should have because I was using the wrong technique. But whatever, as you can see from the title, it's going to be barrel rolls, um, which eventually will come to barrel roll curls. Um, if you, I think, have watched my previous video, you have seen that picture where my hair was super, super curly or the thumbnail. That was performed with barrel roll curls. So. Um, I'm going to show you how I do that. I like it on um, retwisted hair just because I think you'll get more um, bang for your buck as far as like leaving these in for a while and taking them out and not having to worry about your hair being all tangly or whatever, you know. So uh, first things first, I am going to be using just two products on my hair at this point. Um, I'll be using this Neat Braid Conditioning um, shining gel basically not a whole lot of it just enough to encourage a little hold um but as it says there's no wax grease alcohol or flaking so i'm just gonna use a little bit of that with water um and i added this mostly all over my scalp already but i may just add a little bit more because because i think when you're gonna have your hair up for a while you really want to make sure your scalp's moisturized that'll help cut down on flaking and you know if you want to know more about these two products just make sure to watch my previous video um, like I said, make sure you get your water bottle and then rubber bands are what you are going to need. So first things first, I don't really want to <laughs> disturb it too much, but I am going to go ahead and take down the few pins that I do have and pull this hair back out of the way um, or up out of the way so I can start with the back section of hair. I just have always felt like that's easiest. Um, so just so I don't bore you guys with like kind of the same old same old I'm probably going to go ahead and do the back and then just come back when I'm working on the front it just makes more sense because <laughs> the process is still the same regardless of what part of the hair you're in um you know it's pretty much the same so like I said first things first get all of the pins out so you can actually section your hair properly um now one thing to remember is the size of your barrel rolls you know will depend on how many locks you decide to use um, but even that kind of depends on you know like my locks are very small so and I, I don't want my barrel rolls huge but I'm also not trying to sit here all day <laughs> um, so I'm probably gonna use anywhere from like maybe five or six locks per barrel roll that's gonna be my preference um, but you are always welcome to use more or less you know play around with the size and see what works best for you so like I said I'm just going to Right now, I'll go ahead and take this whole top section that I just did and put it out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the back of my hair and come back when I'm up here in the front so I can show you what that's going to look like as I'm doing um, those barrel rolls on my hair. Okay, so I will be back here shortly. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Dropping stuff, flag on the play. <laughs> not good <laughs> all right so um yeah so i'm just looking back here i've got one it's not necessarily unraveling but it does feel a little loose so i'm just going to place an extra rubber band just to be safe you know and you're welcome to do that as well um you also don't want them rubber bands going all the way up and down your <laughs> barrel roll so if it's super super not secure we I mean, were insecure or probably unsecure, whatever. Anyway, if it is, just go ahead and redo it. But if it's just like a little bit at the ends, you know, let's say you're a couple days in or a weekend to wearing your barrel rolls, I'd say just throw a rubber band on there, you'll be okay. All right, so one more time, just so you guys can see how I did this. I'm spraying the section with just water first. I'm not really going all the way up to like spray my retwist because I just did that, so I don't really want that to get fuzzy but at least the length of the locks apply whatever product of your choice not just a little conditioning gel nothing too crazy all right and 
like I said, line them up the way you want them to fall. So I want them going away from my face over here. So I'm going to do all of my twisting and all that over here. Same way with two strand twists, wherever you want it to fall, that's where you should twist it in that direction. Okay. So since we're away from our face, take one, go all the way around, away from your face probably is a good way to start to help you remember. And then pull another lock and go all the way around towards your face. And just continue to alternate. So grab the whole section, wrap it all the way around, and then grab the section, take a lock, go all the way around. You don't have to grab the whole section, but to me that kind of helps you keep track to make sure that you're actually going around the entire section because that's what's going to shape the base. So take that lock, go towards your face, all right? Then you want to grab another lock from back here and go away from your face. And that's really all there is to it. It's kind of the same way that you would do a barrel roll um, to the scalp, but it's just a little bit easier to <laughs> tell when you're doing it to the scalp because, you know, you're literally pulling one, you know, kind of from each side versus with this, um, you know, you really have to kind of keep up with which direction you're going making sure that your locks are crossing over one another because if they don't like i said that's where you'll have um, unraveling or locks poking out especially if you're like me where your locks are all um, kind of layered or different lengths or whatever um, and so i'm going around that way away from my face and then pulling another towards my face i'm um, trying to think of anything else like i said just pull it as tightly as you feel like you need to you know only you know you're here as long as it goes around where the other section um, kind of looped. I guess that's the only way to describe it. I know that's not super descriptive, sorry guys. And when you get to the end here, you can see I'm kind of running out of locks to use. Just keep going as far as you can. And when you have pretty much not much left, just this last piece, take it and just wrap it around and up. And then just grab that end like that. So it's okay if there's little pieces here and there, but you're gonna rubber band all of that to keep it secure. Um, I hope I explained that kind of decently. Um, I recorded one in the back as well, so I'll, I'll try to edit and hopefully it all makes sense. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It took me a little bit longer earlier to re-twist than I thought, you know, being pregnant, everything just kind of gets you out of breath. <laughs> so I ran out of my natural light, but um, hopefully you'll be able to still see um, yeah, so that is pretty much all that you do. Uh, let me get my camera so you can see me a little bit closer, my phone. Yeah. So to me, I really like it. It's a cool way to uh, preserve your retwist and also get some pretty bomb curls after a couple days, couple weeks, whatever you see fit to do. Um, yeah. So I will do my best to insert some pictures for you and let you see. And if I can remember, especially depending on if baby girl is on her way or not, um, the next like week or so or a couple days or whatever, as long as I keep them in, I will try to track, you know, how well they're holding up and then definitely record um, or at least show pictures when I take it down as well. So um, yeah, bear with me guys. I really appreciate you hanging with me um, as usual. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, like, comment, subscribe, as well as check out my previous video where I showed you the products that I used and have been using a little bit lately to retwist and just keep my scalp really moisturized. Um, I think that's pretty much it though, guys. Um, yeah, I might get a bobby pin or two just to hold a few of the lock, like lock barrels in place, but other than that, I'm really liking the style and uh, like I said, thank you for your continued support and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.